Hello there, Mifia, and I'm back some more Minecraft, so today I'll be showing off a little machine I made with computer crafts, which will be actually implemented in my custom app called The Hacker. Um, so I'm not in, in the world for Hacker, I'm in a different one you may notice, but it's easy to do a transfer anyway. Um, this grid here, I'm not going to talk about it much, it was basically uh, what I would usually, well, no, what I planned it to be. Uh, my tic-tac-toe thing, but it ended up being way too complicated uh, only for the AI. The AI um, I wanted to actually design a very powerful AI and um, given what I'm planning for everything, it's actually quite hard uh, to get it to work as it should, or as I want it to work. So I just abandoned the product and I decided to move on to this which um, basically you have a computer right here and you have to control a turtle down there and to do so first of all I have oh pfft <laughs> didn't plan on doing that so yes you have to actually uh, run the program on the turtle I call it remote um, so then the, well, the turtle will freeze and that will allow you to actually uh, do whatever you want on our little turtle right here so for some reason it's raining. Uh, might as well also make it daytime. Okay, um, done. Uh, what I want to do now... Um, uh, yes. And on this computer there's a program called Remote 2. Remote, remote, like that. And it opens a little GUI like I do um, usually. Nothing normal, and you get uh, five options, forward, backwards, turn right, turn left, and stop. So forward, well, they're all basically self-explanatory. Um, all of them basically control the turtle itself, and stop um, makes the turtle go back to its uh, position, well, start position, which is the red piece of wool. Um, the end piece of wool is the green one, and yeah, that's all, so I'll do a little demonstration. Uh, let's make it go forward a bit. I won't make it go to the end because that would take like ages. Um, but uh, you can also make it go backwards. You see all that. Everything works just fine. And when you press stop, the turtle goes back to its normal position. And uh, there's also one situation when it comes back to its um, start position. It's when it arrives at the end, it will automatically go. Uh, back to start position, like I said. So uh, first of all, let's have a look at the pro well, the code on this computer. So let's edit remote. There we go. So um, it's quite short as a program. First of all, it opens RedNet um, and uh, declares a few lists. First one is for the GUI to display all the options. Uh, M is the list of different messages that can be sent and they all depend on the option you choose uh, Cell is the position of the cursor on the GUI O is basically the message that's going to be sent um, and then you enter a loop so basically the, the while it works the loop will keep running uh, while um, O variable is different to the message S um, so S is basically to stop. Uh, yeah, in fact, I'll go through all of them. F, forward, B, backwards, R, right, L, left. And like I said, S is to stop. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So then what it does, it clears the screen, uh, activates all the GUI stuff if you want to know how it all works. I recommend you check out my uh, video on GUIs for computer craft. Up to the link in the description. And then uh, once everything is displayed, it will actually pull the event key which means uh, the computer will freeze until uh, you press on the key whatever key and then if you press on um, on space well on up or down it will move the cursor and if you press on enter or uh, space it will uh, send the message that needs to be sent uh, thanks to the list I put above and at the very end it will uh, put the message in O and uh, like that, if you actually choose S as a message, uh, then it will actually e exit the loop and all, 
and of course at the viewer end it will exit the rednet uh, network so that's how it works all it, I'll put the um, well both programs on pasty or something like that and the links will be in the description all that so, yep so that's all for this computer and now for our turtle the program is a bit more complicated but before I uh, explain everything um, it detects its position uh, thanks to a code's coordinates um, system. So this little uh, torch right here is to uh, indicate the zero zero, so the origin of the grid, and uh, then the computer can s actually situate itself uh, accordingly. But uh, it doesn't detect the position of the torch itself. It's just that at the beginning of the program you input uh, the position of the turtle and um, you yeah, all that. So that makes the program actually very easily editable. So now let's edit remote. There we go. Uh, so like I said, there are a few uh, variables at the beginning. XS, XY, XE, YE, etc. Going up to dire. So all the XS, YS are for the beginning position, so it's X start and Y start. XE, YE are for the end position, so that's to detect whenever you reach the end. Um, X and Y are the current position, and dire is the direction that's um, for um, the determining of the position too. That's uh, so that whenever you go forward, uh, Depending on the direction it's it will actually change the uh well it will change everything. Well <laughs> it will change your coordin coordinates, that's what I meant. Uh, and then it will go So then in the um, program I call a few functions. So first function is FWD for forward. It will basically uh make the turtle go forward and if it is successful it will then update the position according to the direction, uh or the current direction. BWD is for BWD. I mean, is for backwards, and it's uh, basically exactly the same, except that the turtle goes backwards and it updates the uh, position um, the way it should. Basically, TL is for turn left. Uh, there's also no well, function TR for turn right. So it makes the turtle turn right, and uh, then it updates the direction. Finally, there's a function stop. It's a bit more complicated, but um, to make things e well, to make things very easy, uh, if you want to see in detail, uh, recom well, just read the program on uh, pasty. I'll put the link in the description, like I said, and um, so I'll just uh, sum up very uh, shortly. Turtle up will uh, make the turtle go up, like I said. Um, I didn't say that actually. Uh, then it will go through two loops. Uh, first of all, w uh, the first loop is uh, while x is different to xs, so while uh, the x position is not the start position, it will basically move um, up to the start position. And uh, then the second loop is the same thing for uh, the y coordinates. coordinates. And at the very end, uh, what does it do? It changes the direction to 2. And yeah, that's. And then it's. Put, uh, the turtle goes down again. And so the turtle is its in normal position. So after declaring that function, it opens the whole program itself. So. Well, the real program, I mean, by that. Uh, so it's. First of all, declares a function called st, no, a boolean actually, um, called stp. Its value will be false, and what it will do is basically uh, the loop you find a few lines later um, will keep on running until stp's value is false. So after declaring that func, no, not a function. I keep saying function. Ugh. After declaring that boolean, we get rednet um, being activated for the turtle and uh, finally the loop is opened so then what it does it uh, receives the message uh, from the computer 
and when it does it will actually process the message itself and like I said there are five different messages F, B, L, R and S and it will react accordingly and so when the message is S or the um, uh, end position or well, the position you are is the end position so when X is equal to XE and Y is equal to YE STP uh, will no S yes STP will become true and so um, it will exit the loop activate the well no call the function stop and so the turtle will go back to its stop position and so it will finally close the uh, close red net uh, network and that's all so uh, let's just go through this uh, once again just so you get a final view of the program I think I said everything I need to say about the program itself um, oh <laughs> didn't want to do that damn it but yes uh, there's also one other version I am going to make which uh, will mo also be in the custom map is that instead of an instead of moving just one block it will move until uh, the turtle cannot move so that's very easy I just have to call a function like fwd and it will uh, go forward until uh, it's not possible so that's all so remote again uh, I don't know if maybe I should arrive at the end this time so I have to go forwards twice one two just checking yes I am at forward we're gonna have to turn right should be okay going forward twice then going left forward twice just going to overview yeah still okay then I have to turn right and it's raining again of course so let's turn the rain off I think it's really annoying because when you actually deactivate uh, the rain yourself for some reason uh, the rain comes back very very well in a very short time so where were we yes how many blocks have yeah two blocks that's all I have to do damn it one two going ah uh, damn it went right once then going forward I don't know how many times should be enough then I have to turn right again go forward twice turn left yep still on the right path go forwards twice turn left and finally go forwards twice and our computer is at the end position and like you see it's going back to the start position so that's all on how it works I uh, might as well stop here too there we go um, what do I want to say yes so like I said this um, system will be implemented in the hacker um, if you want to find the um, uh, codes well you'll find the computers and the turtles code in well on pasty I'll put links in the description for both of the uh, programs themselves um, what else what else do I want to say yes if you enjoyed please take the time to like comment or subscribe ideally I would like you to do all three of them but I cannot force you to do so um, what else did I want to say? Yes. Nothing, I guess. So I guess I'll be seeing you all later. So, see. <laughs> yeah. So, ta-ta for now.